Larry, this is Lee with Craftsman Direct, and I was pulling out your driveway when I saw this. And I hate doing this. But I need to. You see the back right of that chimney? Now, there's no way I can see it other than where I am. But you see that bottom piece of board and the siding and the right side of number two. Number three, the rest of them up look good until you get next to the top on the left side. You see that split. You see how much rust is on your chimney cap, which I really don't want to bother that because they're expensive to make. But you see, it's gone. That back right, and you have so much water intrusion that if you don't address that pretty soon, you will have structural damage on your house. Um, let me see. Nope, got to go the other way. Now, this is odd, but let's look at the other chimney. All right, that is mold from pressure wash. So we got to get up there and get it clean and if you look at the front, number two left, number four right, number five, six, and seven left. You see number two, skip in the right one. You see that on the right? But there's a very good chance that once we start getting into this we would be rebuilding the whole chimney. You see the, the dark line in the front right corner? Water intrusion coming in. Uh, the piece of trim at the bottom. You see how the gap is right there. Alright, anyhow. Um, why would the left one be so much worse than the right one. Oh, as you can see how it's gone. The trim is just melted. And my guess and an answer to that, I was just asking myself really, is caulking painting. You know, the guy who did it gave a damn. And maybe the same guy did it, I don't know. Um, but if they could have been fastened tighter, but um, here again, uh, we can fix that, and I would um, do it in all never rot pieces and parts, uh, PVC, and um, hardy plank. I would like to do it in hardy plank, lifetime, warranty caulk, uh, Sherwin Super Paint, and um, you know, here again, my homeowners get a lifetime warranty on things I do outside because there's no reason not to. Thanks a bunch.